Hello and welcome. My name is Thomas and I'm a solutions engineer from Okta. Today I would like to show you three different ways for passwordless authentication. So there are of course more ways uh, to achieve a passwordless sign-in experience, but uh, I chose to, um, to pick three of the different approaches today. And uh, yeah, let's start with the first one. The first one is about combining different multi-factors together um, to just achieve that you don't have to enter a password. Um, we call that uh, factor sequencing. Let's have a look at that. We are here in the authentication pane and I already created a rule, passwordless when in office. And this rule is applied for the MFA for sales. So everyone who's working in the sales group. You can now see uh, if the user's IP is in the zone office, then this rule kicks in. So that's very important. I only want to enable the rule when the user is in the office. We have also additional configuration options in here. So you can see when the user authenticates via a specific identity provider or specific risk, then the access is allowed. So that's the, the thing we configured here. If you scroll down a little bit more, you can see I configured something called factor sequence. So I don't ask the user for a password, I only ask them for a specific factor sequence. In my example, first we begin with Okta Verify Push and then they have to enter a FIDO2, for example, fingerprint or a FIDO token, um, YubiKey. And um, if they don't have that, they still can use a password. So, and I created multiple rules of that because when they um, forgot uh, that their token at home or they want to, to um, be in a different um, user flow, so yeah, they can easily switch behind that. Let's cancel out of here and let's have a look how that looks for the user. At first I will bring up my iPhone here to better show you the um, factors. So there it is and uh, put it to the right hand side here. Okay, then let's go ahead and sign in with Julie. I type uh, Julie Sales here and in the next step you will already see that I have now the option to only log in via factor. And this happened automatically. Um, I can of course go ahead and choose a different factor. So that's the thing I was uh, configuring in the, in the last step. Um, and also could choose password of course. But we will keep with the progress here and I will go ahead and say yes it's me. And now you can see in the second step, Okta is asking me to provide my fingerprint. That's a FIDO2 uh, token. And I will go ahead and, and do that. That of course could be also uh, a YubiKey. And there we go. We are signed in uh, without even entering a password. So I can just go ahead and start working uh, very easy. No passwords at all involved. Okay, let's uh, have a look at the second approach. So that would be um, logging into your Windows desktop in the morning and afterwards everything is signed in already. So I'll just logging in with Leah here and I'm on my Windows desktop and we are calling that uh, desktop single sign-on because we are using uh, Kerberos ticket which is already active and I will go ahead and just try to log into Okta and as you can see here, it's very quickly saying verifying desktop single sign on and I'm signed in. It looks a little bit different here because it's a different user. So we can also switch the uh, interface to the new interface and you can see I'm logged in and I can start working. That's it. Let's have a look behind the scenes. How did that work? How did we configure that? We're back in the admin interface and we are um, on the delegated authentication page. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see here the agentless desktop single sign on. And that is the option what we have to configure. You can see it's on on and that means anyone from an authorized gateway IP will be able to just log in without a password when he's logged in on his Windows desktop. And of course, you will be also logged into all applications which are connected uh, to Okta. At home, when you're not in the office, of course, you will still have to be in the normal login flow, what I showed you before. This only works if you're connected to the domain controller. Good. Then, let's go ahead and 
uh, I will show you the third um, approach what uh, what we can offer you. Um, it's called Okta FastPass. Okta FastPass is a little application what is installed on your Windows machine or Mac machine doesn't matter, uh, and we don't need any Active Directory uh, behind that. So let me quickly bring that up. You can see I have one account in here, so that's John Doe, and this device is then being connected to Okta, and I can basically trust the device. If I go ahead and open up a browser and try to log in to an application which is connected, you can see I'm logged in without doing anything. So it's basically trusting the device. I can say, yeah, just uh, go ahead, and uh, I'm logged in to Dropbox, which was connected to Okta. Let's have a look how this is configured in the backend. I'm uh, back here in Okta and under the device management uh, option you can see um, we have different possibilities. So you can trust iOS devices. Um, this is also being rolled out uh, for example by VMware as you can see. Um, when we scroll down further you also can see uh, the Windows devices I showed you and uh, this is of course also being done by VMware. So I just installed the Octa FastPass application by VMware on the client and then automatically the device is trusted. That's how easy it is. Um, of course when we have a look at the devices um, you can see that the desktop I was using before is indeed uh, John Doe's desktop and I can also go ahead and suspend it and unsuspend it to enable or disable him from logging in uh, without a password by using his company owned device. Yeah, so that were three examples in a very short uh, demos, of course, to show you what is possible um, when you when we're talking about passwordless sign-in uh, to applications. Um, let me just bring up here a little slide or a little PDF. Um, of course, if you want to have that, just uh, give us uh, a quick chat, and we gladly send that over to you. You can see. Uh, we have different options, so uh, a lot more um, as I showed you today. For example, we can email magic links to uh, enable you by just clicking on a link being logged in automatically. So very neat, maybe you know that from uh, different providers already in, also in a private base. Then factor sequencing. I showed you that today. So just combining multiple factors together and using uh, them to provide the users a uh, passwordless sign-in experience. Then we also um, used WebAuthn uh, with that login experience. So these were YubiKeys or the fingerprint what I showed you. Um, so the user doesn't have to have a smartphone uh, or anything like that. So you can just use his fingerprint when, uh, when he has a device uh, which is enabling that. Then I also showed you passwordless with a device trust. So that was the um, the last thing what I what I showed you, um, and also we showed um, desktop single sign-on. So if you signed in to the Windows desktop in the morning, um, you have an active Kerberos ticket, and we use that to establish the trust uh, between you and Okta and everything which is connected to Okta. You are seamlessly signed on. Of course, we have also other possibilities to use um, smart cards, for example, um, which is quite common, I think, in big enterprises um, that you just sign in with a smart card without entering uh, any, any passwords, maybe just the PIN from the smart card, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I hope you had a good quick overview today about what is possible with uh, passwordless authentication, and if you have any questions, just write us an email or contact us. Thank you.